awesome that um, they chose a group from somewhere so close to the Dakota Pipeline because this is a really important issue to me and I feel that like clean water is like definitely, definitely a human right. So I'm really proud that Juniata chose to host them. I liked it. I thought it was something that I needed and, and I think a lot of the songs have a really good message and this is like I can give it related to what's going on in the world right now. Okay, that was awesome. They played my favorite song by Jimi Hendrix, so Um, and that they're playing together as a family is absolutely amazing. So we had a chance to hear them speak today and a chance to hear them play. And I'm really grateful I took the opportunity. One of the best performances I've seen. Oh, yeah. oh my god, the show was really good. It was just like, this week there was just so much pressure and burden and stress. And I felt like listening to them just made me feel so much better. Um, I really, really enjoyed Scouting Their Own and I'm totally going to buy a CD now and listen to it for the next week. Um, they were really fun and really adorable and the 14-year-old drummer is like my hero. I really liked the show. I thought the music was great and they all did really great music. I thought the show was uh, excellent. I was blown away by uh, how talented uh, each of the musicians were, but especially the uh, the young people. They were really uh, really did a great job. I enjoyed it very much. Oh, it was incredible. I really enjoyed all four musicians. It was nice to um, have a 14-year-old drummer and a 17-year-old guitarist, and you know that they wrote the music themselves. So it was really meaningful. It was awesome. Uh, just what we needed after this week. Yeah, it, it was just really interesting. You know, it, it, it felt you know a combination of like, you know alternative rock and uh, Native American music. I thought the show was excellent. Um, I think it's really important to bring this type of culture and diversity and musicianship to Huntington, Juniata. So we're really thankful they were here tonight. So it was an amazing show, and not only was it a great show, they're great people, and they came and spoke to us today. And um, I feel like I learned a lot of life lessons, and I really appreciated them on the campus. So shout out to them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, um, I really enjoyed the one song about the water um, and why in its relation to the Dakota Pipeline um, that people are protesting now, and I think it's interesting how life works, that there are no coincidences. They wrote that song three years ago, and it's happening now. Um, so I, I think it's a creative way to get the message across, and um, yeah, I enjoyed it. What I really enjoyed about the show was its creativity. The songs were so creatively inspired, and there was so much passion and so much um, presence, not only with each, each musician, but then they played together as a family. And you could just see that they love the attention. I'm buying their CD right now, but I wouldn't be surprised if this group goes far. So, way to go. I think it's, it just speaks values to what a family can be. Um, they're homeschooled, they go on the road with their folks. <laughs> And um, I loved it. And I wish there had been a bigger audience today, but everybody's getting over the election. <laughs> so, but no, please bring more of this. Absolutely. It was energetic. It was a lot of fun. I really liked the show. Um, I thought that the integration of the, their cultural aspects um, in terms of how they view the environment and everything, it was really interesting to hear how that transcended into their music. And I think the style of their music was just really good in general, too. This was an awesome family, it was awesome music, and they ended with one of my favorite songs of all time, All Along the Watchtower. So more people need to see this family, support this family, and, and take a lot of joy from this family.